Hi, I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and in this short video, I want to give you a high blood pressure warning and tell you about seven foods that you should stop eating right now. We're hearing more and more in the news media lately that conditions like high blood pressure, also called hypertension, metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes, and prediabetes can weaken our systems, including our immune system. And so if you'll start avoiding these seven foods right now, you're going to improve not only your high blood pressure, but also your blood sugar numbers. So if you're pre-diabetic or type two diabetic, you're gonna improve that condition. If you have fatty liver, if you have metabolic syndrome, if you have high triglycerides, all of those conditions are going to improve when you start avoiding these seven foods. Now, if you know someone who has one of these medical conditions, especially high blood pressure, and they also love the foods that I mentioned in this video, please consider sharing this video with them. You might literally save their life, definitely save them from taking a lot of unnecessary prescription medications and from a lot of unnecessary suffering and medical tests. High blood pressure is part of a syndrome we talk about in medicine called metabolic syndrome. It goes hand in hand with the things that cause metabolic syndrome and high blood pressure is in fact caused by the same things that cause metabolic syndrome. This is chronically elevated blood sugar, chronically elevated triglyceride levels, and chronically elevated insulin levels in your blood. So the things that you eat that cause elevations in your blood sugar, in your insulin, in your triglycerides are absolutely things that you should avoid in your diet because they will lead to high blood pressure getting worse and metabolic syndrome getting worse. The rough way that this works is that when you eat foods that raise your blood sugar, therefore raise your triglycerides, therefore raise your insulin, you're actually causing your kidneys to hold on to excess sodium and causing your kidneys to hold on to excess water. And so they retain those two things and that's gonna increase your blood volume. And anytime you increase the volume of fluid in a closed hydraulic system, you also increase the pressure, get it? So increased fluid volume equals increased blood pressure. You don't want that. You wanna eat foods that are gonna lower your blood volume and blood pressure and these foods that I'm about to tell you about ain't those foods. Okay, food number one is pizza. And you may think from all the things you've been taught earlier in life that it's the, it's the salt on the pizza, it's the fat from the cheese, but in actuality, it's the crust of the pizza that's going to raise your blood pressure because it's made of wheat. And wheat, it breaks down immediately to sugars when you digest the wheat. That is going to increase your blood sugar, your triglycerides, and therefore your insulin levels. Also, almost all pizza crust manufacturers will use an, a vegetable oil in the making of this. This leads to inflammation, which some people also believe can increase your blood pressure. Don't forget the sauce on that pizza. You might think it's just tomatoes and salt, uh, salt and, and spices. Guarantee you there's some sugar in that as well. So you gotta get pizza out of your diet if you wanna lower your blood pressure. Number two is waffles and pancakes. So you might picture a beautiful breakfast being eggs and bacon and waffles or pancakes and syrup. Uh, it's not the eggs and the bacon that are going to raise your blood pressure, as your doctor may have told you. It's actually the waffles and the pancakes and the, and the bread. That's what's going to raise it because, again, they're made of, wait for it, wheat, sugar, and vegetable oils. All three of these are going to raise your blood sugar, raise your triglycerides, and therefore raise your insulin, which leads to metabolic syndrome one of the symptoms of which is high blood pressure. So go ahead and eat your bacon and eggs, but leave off the pancakes, the waffles, and the syrup because they're gonna raise your blood pressure. Next is pasta. Once again, you may think it's the salt and the fat from the cheese. That's not what's raising your blood pressure. It's the actual pasta noodles themselves. They're made of wheat almost always, and if they're not made of wheat, they're made of some other starchy ingredient which is going to ultimately break down into sugar, which is gonna raise your blood sugar, your triglycerides, and your insulin. Therefore, your blood pressure will go up. 
Next is hamburgers. And you're like, wait a minute, hamburgers are meat, right? Well, if you just eat the patty, then that's probably a great meal. But if you eat a hamburger like most people in modern society eat a hamburger, you also have a bun, which is made of wheat and, and vegetable oils and sugar, and all the wheat breaks down into sugar as well. You're probably gonna put some ketchup on there, which is basically red sugar. You're also gonna have some French fries or some chips with that burger, both, both of which break down into sugar because uh, potatoes are nothing but starch. The starch breaks down into sugar, therefore doing all the things I keep saying over and over and over, but that's just how simple this is once you understand what's actually going on with this. So eat all the hamburger patties you'd like, but leave off the buns, the ketchup, and the fries, and also that big 44-ounce um, soft drink that's full of glucose and fructose, that's gonna spike your blood sugar off the chart, which is gonna lead to a, a large increase in your blood pressure. So stop eating and drinking those things. Next food is hot dogs. Now you may say again, wait a minute, hot dogs are meat, processed meat, lots of salt probably, that's not the problem. It's not the salt, it's not the fat, it's not the processing of the hot dog wiener itself, it's the bun. The bun's made of wheat and vegetable oils. That's gonna raise your blood sugar, raise your triglycerides, raise your insulin, raise your blood pressure. It's also the french fries or the chips that you're gonna eat with a hot dog. These also spike your blood sugar, leading to the cascade of events that lead to higher blood pressure. Also, again, you're gonna put a big dollop of ketchup on there, which is just red sugar. That's gonna spike your blood sugar again. And then if you wash it down with a nice ice cold Coke or Pepsi, you're gonna be spiking your blood sugar off the charts, which is gonna raise your blood pressure. Next is angel food cake. Now, wait a minute. You've been told for years by your doctor that if you must eat cake, eat angel food cake, because it's low in fat and low in sodium, therefore it should be healthy, right? No, sorry. Angel food cake consists entirely of wheat, sugar, and vegetable oils. We've already covered those in this video and many other videos on this channel. They are going to raise your levels of inflammation. They're gonna raise your blood sugar, raise your triglycerides, and raise your insulin. Therefore, raise your blood pressure. All cake does this, but don't think that angel food cake is somehow special because perhaps your nutritionist or your dietitian or that YouTube guru said that angel food cake is, is less bad. It's just as bad. It's gonna raise your blood pressure. And then the last food item on this list is chicken nuggets. Now, it's not the chicken. Again, you probably already guessed that. It's not the chicken meat in the chicken nugget, if there is in fact any chicken meat in a chicken nugget. It's the breading. It's made of wheat and sugar, right? That's going to spike your blood sugar. And then the whole cascade leading to high blood pressure starts again. Again, most people eat their chicken nuggets, whether they're Mick nuggets or Genera nuggets, they're going to eat those with some fries or chips, and they're going to drink a soft drink, all of which is going to leave them with high blood sugar, high triglycerides, high insulin, and therefore a higher blood pressure. You may have been told by your doctor that high blood pressure, you can't reverse it, it's chronic and progressive. Absolutely not true. Stop eating the things I talk about in this video and all the other things related. Now, you may have noticed a, re a recurring theme in this video. The things that I tell you to stop eating are almost always made of grains, sugars, and vegetable oils. Those three things are the most unhealthy three things you can put into your human mouth. But advertising for big food and then erroneous advice from our doctors and nutrition experts have led us to believe these things are pretty healthy. They're not. I'm going to actually pop up a couple of playlists here and here at the end of this video. If you have prediabetes or diabetes, there's one playlist for you if you'd like to learn about the diet that you can use to lower your blood sugar, your triglycerides, your insulin levels, and get off high blood pressure medications potentially, 
the Keto 101 playlist is for you. Now, if you enjoy videos like this where I kind of break down all the science and the misconceptions and the myths and the lies and make a video for you, then please consider clicking the subscribe button down below this video and the little bell button right beside it so that every time I have a bright idea like this, you'll be one of the very first people to know. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next video.